welcome back. Yeah, well, it's been a minute, uh, but we are getting ready to uh, put something back online. If you've uh, been following my videos for a while, you'll know I've been uh, having a little bit of a break um, from doing the weekly uploads, and I'll still be publishing, but maybe not quite getting to the same uh, frequency as I was doing before. But I hope you enjoy this. Sell them for the ride. This one is a video that was uh, filmed end of July. This is a Hog Auckland chapter ride. We're leaving from North Auckland Harley Davidson uh, dealership, and it's a nice sunny day that day. And I think we had, uh, at the time we left Takapuna anyway, we had about 20 bikes on this ride, including myself. Now I am the tail end Charlie for this particular one. And if you've seen my videos before, well, if you've ridden in a group before, you know that the uh, tail end Charlie or the tech is the guy that hangs around at the back, guy or gal and uh, make sure that uh, looks after anybody that is, gets lost, falls behind, has to pull over for anything. Basically uh, lets the road captain know that, you know, yeah, we're all here, we can carry on at various regroups along the way. Anyway, we're heading up to Huapai today and we're going to be going kind of a roundabout way and welcome along for the ride. Auckland chapter has got a, a, a dual parent situation. We, uh, our parent dealership is both the North Auckland Harley Davidson dealership at Takapuna and also the Auckland Harley Davidson dealership in Mount Wellington. So we split our rides um, on alternate weeks. We'll have a ride leaving from either dealership. On this day, it was the turn of the Takapuna store to host the uh, the departure point for the the group. And as would typically happen on those rides, we would generally head uh, in an orderly direction. So we've got on the motorway, Southern Motor, uh, sorry, Northern Motorway, State Highway One, and we're heading north. And what I'm doing is just hanging around the back. I can see the riders up ahead, and just looking to make sure there's no stragglers that are fallen behind or stopped at the side of the road. If they are, then I'll pop, up, you know, stop along and see what they're up to. Have they need any help or assistance? Uh, but that very seldom happens. Um, famous last words, as it turns out. Now, of course, rides from any dealership in the country, or at least most of the ones in the, in the bigger cities, um, Auckland, Hamilton, Christchurch, Wellington, Dunedin, they are going to start in a pretty much a, a city situation before we can get to roads that we like to ride on, like perhaps open country roads. And to get to those areas, you've got to have a little bit of a spell on the motorway. So it's just one of those things. We travel along for about, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. And we're going to head up to, on this particular ride, we're getting off the motorway at Silverdale. And it was at the Silverdale off-ramp that there was a little incident that uh, held us up for a spell. There was a couple of bikes came together, one of which didn't continue on the ride, and one of them which did. Uh, and that... Uh, caused a little bit of a delay for those people that were in the general area um, of the uh, of the incident. No one was hurt, but the uh, bikes got a little bit of a, a bump on them. So, yeah, unfortunate, but sometimes this this happens. Anyway, this is following that incident, and I'm now just doing a catch up, having said goodbye to the uh, rider who was okay. I mean, it's pillion, and they're heading off to. Uh, back home to assess a little bit of damage on the bike and I'm heading along the route that the ride was taking uh, which was at Dairy Flat on this Kahikatea Flat Road just to make sure there was no corner marker left there waiting for me to come along and in the meantime I had a call from the road captain as I'm travelling along I've got a comm system in my helmet um, just asking well what's the hold up he'd heard there was a, an incident uh, behind him yeah, and I just confirmed, yeah, we're on the on the road. It will be, there's Shane and there's Claire's coming up from the right there, also who were uh, attending or as part of the uh, the incident we had back there at Silverdale. And I just let Murray know, yeah, we're on our way. We're going to be uh, meeting at the scheduled rendezvous point where we were stopping for a regroup just up the road at uh, Waitoki. And uh, as we came up there, the group was on the side of the road by the uh, Waitoki primary school waiting for everybody had a quick catch up gave a briefing as to what happened 
to the road captain and then we're good to go. I was just having a little count of the bikes, having a look around to make sure that everybody's got the helmets on, bikes are started and we're good to roll and then Murray's asked me are we okay to, to run it, give him the thumbs up and just like that we get the uh, the whole show back on the road. So heading up on Gahakatea Flat Road, heading up towards State Highway 16. we got to the end of this stretch of road we turned left on Estate Highway 16 and we're kind of gradually heading our way kind of more in a southerly direction now this is about as north as we get uh, so we're on State Highway 16 and approaching Helensville. Helensville is a small town I guess you'd consider it a west coast town it's still in the Auckland region um, and I left the camera rolling as we came through there I mean if people are kind of wondering how Helensville looks you'll soon see if you are familiar with Helensville or uh, either recently or many years ago you'll better see how it looks now and you'll probably find it hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot. Uh, smallish town, got a fairly big residential area or biggish I guess as we're coming around the, uh, the corners here there's a left hand kind of road that leads up to the uh, residential part of town or the, the principal residential part of town. Uh, right at this corner here. If you go straight up there it's going to be a lot of housing and some new subdivisions up there as well. In fact there's a really good ride up there that we took the other day. And this is now winding through the main part of town. This would be the, uh, the main street where all the usual suspects are there. There's uh, cafes, a liquor store, uh, second-hand clothing shops and of course a uh, at least one massive supermarket chain and that's the countdown it's got the uh, stranglehold on this town it's probably now been relabeled to Woolworths they're one of the Woolworths brand now anyhow as we're coming up here I've got a little radar alert start flashing on my uh, uh, indicator on the handlebars you'll see it uh, light up as we come near the corner so I realize well yeah something's, something's going on someone's, someone's around here and sure enough as we round this corner of traffic we can see uh, sitting in the queue there is the uh, police vehicle who had his uh, radar device on but it's not really a speeding situation here at all we're pretty far from going over the limits so no worries at all for us now as we uh, this is all state highway 16 by the way and as we turn left here this swing here left is very much taking us now fully in a southern direction to the right hand side is the uh, west coast uh, black sand beaches, uh, you've got uh, Bethel's, Murawai, heading out towards Pihars, so if you travel further enough down, on and on we go. Uh, but on this stretch of road, it's quite nice, there's a whole lot of um, good riding to be had here. Often it's not as um, congested as uh, maybe State Highway 1, and it's some good country uh, countryside views. Now it is a single lane each way but it is a high speed road so it can be a bit of fun. Now coming down the hill here we're heading to, we've been riding for a little while, we're coming now into a little town called Waimalku and from here we're going to leave State Highway 16. We will come back to it briefly later and then we'll finish on 16 but for now we're going to take a dive off at uh, Waimalku. There has been a corner marker planted at this corner here so I'm just coming up behind him let him know that's Boz yep we're here we can carry on and uh, we're turning left up uh, I think it's Waimalku Station Road travels up here the uh, the town is pretty tiny it's a blink and you miss it kind of a place um, very prone to flooding unfortunately during the, some of the recent flood events we've had in the city this area and uh, some of the surrounding areas, Kumiu, Huapai, did get hit pretty hard with uh, flood damage. So tough times around here. When the uh, when the weather turns and the floods come, these places are hit pretty hard. But uh, yeah, anyway, here we are. We're heading up now. The road has changed onto Waikoko Valley Road. 
and this one will take us right up to in the general direction or area of Riverhead and up there we're going to be we're looking to join up to Old North Road and I'm guessing it's called Old North Road because that used to be the main road north um, for some way anyway before State Highway 16 got put in. Old North Road pretty much runs from well out west and it kind of links up through a round windy kind of a way to Helensville and then becomes the main road going north. Pleasant riding along Waikauka Valley Road and at one end of it the end we're heading up to is a great place called the Hunting Lodge. Fantastic place for a bite to eat. Also a vineyard, reception area, restaurant. Lovely spot. Anyway, pulling in behind here, just letting the corner marker know we're all caught up and it's time to rejoin the ride, which we do by turning right onto Old North Road and head uh, straight over towards Riverhead itself. And as we travel along here, it's a little bit of like sparsely populated residential, not much. And then we head into or ride through a plantation forest kind of an area with uh, plantation pines planted all over the place and yeah when you're riding through those lovely twisty roads it's really quite a pleasant thing particularly in summertime you've got all these trees they're evergreen so they're not going to shed leaves and create a menace on the roads there are pine needles a little bit but you know it's not too bad uh, and it's a lovely like green belt until you get to the part where they've decided to harvest those trees and it looks like a uh, nuclear fallout zone and uh, yeah, there's no kind of middle ground. It's either lush and green, you're kind of rolling through there, or next thing you know, you look there and they've cleared it out, and it looks like a, uh, a nuclear waste site. And that's what, a, what we've got coming up here. To the left, you can see the uh, formerly abundant forest is gone, and uh, nothing left but uh, ravaged hillsides. And I think the green trees to the right there will be looking over there and thinking, boys, boys, I think we've got some trouble coming up sometime soon. And they may, may well be right, at which point the uh, right hand side of the road will be empty as well, but hopefully when they do clear that they will have already got some new uh, timber planted, ready to uh, grow and get set again on the left hand side of the street to kind of balance it out. Anyway, Old North Road does wind its way along and it's now, as we're getting closer, heading back to State Highway 16, we're kind of coming to a residential area again, kind of outskirts of Riverhead, I guess you'd call this. And right here we've crossed over State Highway 16 onto Taupaki Road. And we had a brief regroup there, I went up, let everybody, let uh, Murray know, the road captain, that uh, we're all present. Carried on again, the bikes all streamed past me and we're heading down here. Now we're going to head up towards Massey, we're not going to go quite all the way there, but we're heading down Talpaki Road and coming up here there's a little bit of a fork you can go right and carry on to Waitakari Road or you can go left down Nixon Road which will lead you up towards a place called Massey so quarter mark is just getting away there which is good and we've got a nice little ride through some country road area here of course the speed limit's been changed a little bit around here it's, it's really hard to keep up sometimes with what speeds are relevant now on which particular roads. There's some roads that should be a slower speed road that are marked as open road or 100 kilometer zones and other roads that are clearly begging for more uh, more pace that are at a criminally criminally low speed limit so hard to get that balance. Anyway as we're traveling along Nixon it will eventually turn into Red Hills Road and not long after it turns into Red Hills Road we'll be getting off it. Uh, that's just happening right up here and we're heading down a road called Sunnyvale that's going to lead us back towards uh, Waitakere and we will eventually loop back onto Waitakere Road and from there we are kind of on the home stretch towards our ultimate destination at uh, Pōpai.
coming up here on the left is a turn where you can make to head up to Bethel's Beach, Tehanga, but unfortunately the road up there has got a little bit messed up in some of the uh, flooding events of a few years ago, so it's not really viable, which is a real shame because that was a beautiful ride up there. I'm hoping they will repair that road uh, properly at some stage. Um, not holding my breath, but uh, yeah, you got to hope that it'll happen one day. Anyway, that aside, we're now heading along Waitakere Road. And we're riding this one right through to the uh, end where when we get to it, we're going to turn left onto uh, Hunnam Road. And who have we got here is the corner mark. In fact, it's the our director, John, or Camo. And this is a very familiar view riding behind this bike. Uh, ridden behind or up and down the country, North and South Islands with uh, John on a number of rides. So, uh, familiar view behind the, as he likes to call it, the big red bus. Beautiful bike. Now we're on Pomona Road here, which means we're getting very close to our final destination, we're within sniffing distance, so Pomona is actually a really nice road, I haven't been on it terribly often, certainly not in the last year or two, so it was a, quite a pleasure to get back on this road, um, I've only ridden, ridden it in the other direction, so it's nice to see it coming this way as well. Uh, come to the end of it, we're turning out onto Taba Road, pulling up behind, I don't know, I think that's Stevo. to uh, let him know that we're uh, good to roll and we're heading down Taba Road. It will soon turn into Access Road and when we're on Access Road we're just a stone's throw away from where we uh, where we want to finish up. There's one final regroup um, happening at the uh, bottom of the hill just before the traffic lights and you'll see the, uh, the group assembled there as we roll past to uh, let Murray know that we're all here and then we'll see them take off and head past me as I'm waiting for them to uh, carry on. Now I don't know if my counting's good, but including myself, I think there seems to be 17 bikes right there. If you count a different number, let me know, but um, I'm pretty sure it's 17. We started with 20, I think, and we lost kind of three on the way. One who pulled off at Silverdale and two others, husband and wife team, who peeled away when one of them was not feeling too well. Um, that was before we got to State Highway 16 the first time. Anyway, we're heading up to the traffic lights. These traffic lights are ahead of us, uh, running left and right in front here is State Highway 16, and that is the uh, signal for arrival at the Huapai Tavern, which is our final destination. Great place. Um, really recommend if you're passing through the area it's well worth a stop food's great beer's cold and here we are pulling in the car park that's where I'm going to leave it as I park the bike right up alongside Claire's on the uh, on the old rocker so I hope you've enjoyed this one keep watching the channel there'll be more stuff coming over over time and until next time take care out there ride safe have fun see you in the uh, see you on the road